Dennis Foley, Venophile TD for Not Kerry, first elected in the early 1980s, and an Ansbacker account holder. The first man to receive a penalty from the Dáil Ethics Committee, and he was suspended for 14 days. His daughter, Norma Foley, is now a Fianna Fáil candidate in North Kerry. Michael Collins. No, not the big fella, the other fella, the brother of Jerry, don't break up the party, Collins. Fianna Fáil TD in Limerick West, and also a holder of bogus non-resident accounts. He settled with the revenue four years ago, but his trial date has been postponed to July the 4th. Beverly Flynn. Beverly Cooper Flynn. And now, plain old Beverly Flynn again. She sued RT for libel when they suggested that she had encouraged tax evasion, a case that she lost. Now RTE have to chase her for the 1.5 million euro in costs. She's a candidate for independent Fianna Fáil in Mayo this time. Ray Rambo Burke, the man that Bertie sent Dermot to Heron up every tree in North Dublin to find out if he was clean. He was sentenced to six months in 2004 for making false tax returns. He served four and a half months. Liam Lawler. You know, Liam, maybe you were the most honest of them all. At one time, Liam was released from prison to defend himself against all charges that he'd cheapened politics. Even Bertie agreed with that comment. Charles, Charles J. So the tribunal said that you'd taken the equivalent of 45 million euros, but you managed to settle your tax bill with the revenue for only five. A man who enjoyed the simple things in life, like tea on the lawn and the crumpet of another man's wife. But I have an honest face. These are just some of my colleagues from the Fianna Fáil Parliamentary Party. There'll be more of them calling to your door looking for a vote. Why don't you give them a dig out?